No, no, we've seen this for several years and each year University Hospital sees about four or five patients who eat deadly mushrooms end up in their ICU. But since the beginning of August, they're already up to eight patients two months before they usually see cases. So they're very worried this could be a very dangerous year. The culprit is the death cap or angel destroyer mushroom that's prevalent throughout Northeast Ohio. It looks like an edible puff ball, but this one can kill you. Cooking or freezing them won't get rid of the poison. And if not treated quickly, one in three people die from the toxin that causes acute liver failure. UH has become expert in treating mushroom patients and there is an antidote, but it's not FDA approved and not easy to get. We submit what we call an investigational new drug application every time in order to be able to have the FDA uh, vouch that we are using this appropriately and get it for patients. We then have to ask the manufacturer to then courier it to us or ship it to us. They put it on a commercial flight, typically from Philly, and it gets to us a day later. That's just one at a time. Now, last year I introduced you to Portage County beekeeper Bill Hickman. He used a plant identifying app when he picked mushrooms in his yard, but it was wrong. He ate four death cap mushrooms and ended up in University Hospitals Cleveland, where he was lucky enough to get that antidote, but he came very close to death. He strongly encourages people not to eat wild mushrooms unless you can be 100% sure they're safe. And I spoke to Bill and his wife, Tam, about an hour ago and you'll hear more from them at six but Bill said it took him about six months to just begin recovering from eating those mushrooms and he just ate his first store-bought mushroom last week and he could barely make it through it Laura oh my goodness that is a long recovery so one can only assume that if they're deadly or potentially deadly for humans not to give them to your pets and make sure that your pets don't go outside and eat them from your backyard. Oh my goodness, absolutely. Yes, these can be deadly, especially to dogs. Now, not every mushroom in your yard is dangerous, but it is wise to destroy them. Mow them over, spray a fungicide, but do not touch them without gloves. If you do pick them, bag them and throw them away, wash your hands and buy your mushrooms in the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, I think the safe bet here is buying them at the grocery store, like you said, from a farmer's market, from someone who actually knows exactly what they are harvesting. Exactly. What I think is interesting, Mon, is that you're saying they look so much like ones that are edible. Mm -hmm. I, I think this report is so helpful because I would, I don't pick wild mushrooms, but I would have no idea if it looks so similar. So it really is so important. Yeah, and like Bill said, he used a plant app and it told him that the mushroom was safe. He still uses that plant app, but he told me when he does look at it and he sees a mushroom and he's t it's telling him it's one variety that appears to be safe, it's usually wrong. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, well, good warning too for people who are using that kind of technology mm -hmm. on their phones. Yep. Monica, thank you. Sure.